Hello everybody. So I'm doing this review video because I honestly find that a lot of, not all, but a lot of brand ambassadors, because they are said brand ambassador, they, oh, I love it, I love it. And they don't give their honest opinion. And that is an experience I just went through <clears throat> when I purchased these two items because I wanted an opinion on somebody who had actually worn them and tried and tested. And I honestly feel I was given a false opinion and we'll leave it at that. But I have two snake print jumpsuits here. And as you can tell, the prints are totally different. Um, I love the snake print and um, I really wanted both of them, but because of how expensive they were, I was like, I don't need both. As you can see, I ended up getting both. First off, the one on my right is the shark pull wear snake print jumpsuit. The one on my left is the Orla snake print jumpsuit. Both of these were purchased from Pull Junkie because my preferred site that I shop at, Pull Active, they always seem to get all the new items and the new brands or anything from the brands last, or they just don't even get the new items, which Pull Active, if you're watching, please start getting more brands because those of us in the US would prefer to shop in the US. But like I said, I had to purchase both of these from Pull Junkie. And I've had both good and bad experiences with Pull Junkie in the bath in the past. Um, their customer service very wishy washy and uh, definitely leaves something to be desired for. Um, like I said, both of these were purchased at Pull Junkie separately. I purchased this one first, then I went back and purchased this one afterwards because they were just after this one arrived, they were just so different in person. I had to get this one to try. Now. Pull Junkie does allow return policy, but, and here's where I say their customer service, uh, excuse the language, total horse shit when it comes to this. And again, I'm giving honest opinions here. I have spent, and I will tell you, hundreds, if not a couple thousands of dollars at Pull Junkie during this span of quarantine from all different brands, brands ranging from shoes to accessories to clothing items, all different kinds of things. And like I said, Sometimes really good customer service, sometimes total shit. So, and I tell myself I'm not going to purchase from Pull Junkie again, but that circles back to Pull Junkie gets all the brands first before any of the other little mom and pop type stores or studios that get brands and they get the newest items the fastest. So, you're kind of SOL there and, you know, you're forced to do what you want to do, but... I'm gonna pause the video and go try these on and we'll be back. And we're back. So, this is the Shark Pool Wear jumpsuit. I really like how it feels. I love the back cutout. I'm still able to use my arms. Nice coverage up here. Nothing's gonna come popping out. I am wearing a size medium. And I am 134 pounds. I'm 134 pounds and these are my measurements. This will tie into going to the other bodysuit. My hips are 94 centimeters. My waist is 73. My bust is 89.5. My under bust is 77. So it was recommended by the size chart as well as another fellow polar who already had this item. Again, I like to ask opinions, not them. Brand ambassador, I love everything, it's so great. Stop getting me to waste my money, okay? But the medium, in my opinion, it fits perfectly. The, uh, my legs, I don't feel like the circulation, I don't feel like they're cutting into it. Good movement. It doesn't feel loose or overly tight. Now, this was $76. Yes, that is a lot. Side note, why y'all make this stuff so expensive? Half the stuff barely covers us. There's less material and y'all charge more. I digress, beside the point. This, worth it. I like the jumpsuit, the sizing, the print. It doesn't, uh, the print doesn't get uh, distressed or lighter, you know, when fabric pulls and like they didn't do a good job with the material. They did a good job with the shark one. As a non- famous person in the pool world and a non-brand ambassador, 
I bought all this with my own money. I'm a brand ambassador to nobody. As much as I try, believe me, I try. Um, I ain't getting paid for this. This is my honest to God opinion. The shark pole wear, shark jumpsuit, ninja jumpsuit in the snake print is where it's at. And I actually have a few shark pieces and they are one of my favorite brands. Give me a moment and I will switch to the Orla. And we're back. At first look, I really loved this one. After getting, like I said, I bought them separately and after receiving the shark one in the mail, I was like, the print is so different. I have to get both. It's, it's just so different. I love the white. I just love the print of it. Love the back cut out as well. Very different from the shark one. This one I feel showcases the back by the cutouts, whereas the other one showcases the back with no cuts and it's just, here's my beautiful sexy back. Look at all my muscles. This one, it's like, check out my different compartments of muscles. So I like that. But this one is the Orla Activewear Signature Jumpsuit in Snake Skin. That's what they're calling it. I really like it because, again, it hugs. But there are many things I actually do not like about this bodysuit. Again, I got a size medium based off of their size chart recommendations. And I will reiterate. I am 134 pounds. This is, this is what I look like. Again, my measurements. Hips, 94. Waist, 73. Bust, 89.5. Under bust, 77. Those were all in centimeters. So again, 37 inches for the hips. 28.7 for the waist. 35.2 for the bust and 30.3 for the underbust. So obviously, I'm a member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. There ain't nothing rocking up here, girls. There ain't no girls. So this is where I did not like this jumpsuit because let me come closer. You see this little point right here? It's like the material is sewn. There's a sew right here, so either my nipple needs to be way over here. You can, you can actually see that one sticking out. My nipple, is it below my armpit? Weird. Weird, right? Even if I did have titties, my nipple's down here. Still? Hmm, there's where my nipple really is. This is where you're saying it is? I don't like that. So that feels kind of, doesn't feel good there. Then, again, I'm in a size medium. I feel like my thighs are saran wrapped. Could be that that's, you know, it's the type of material it's supposed to be suction cuppy, you know, suck you in, keep you in place. But I don't like how the thighs feel overly tight. Should I have sized up for a large? Not according to your size charts, Orla. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Maybe not. Then we're going to come to the next thing I don't like. I've got saggy diaper crotch. What is, what is this? I'm up here. What? I gotta like, get that so we're touching. And then I don't have the saggy crotch. I didn't like that. I mean, it, if you don't look too close, it's cute. I look cute, but I didn't pay $80 to look cute from a distance and I didn't like this. So pause for video number two because this is now nine minutes. 